look, you know, we're not afraid to influence the influencers, to address the politicians. You know, we've gone and we've approached people like Bernie Sanders and, and others to say, why won't you speak up for life? Why won't you even just look out for pain capable children at 20 weeks in utero? Why won't you look out for abortion survivors, kids that survive abortion procedures to make sure they're given medical care? The reality is that the Biden and Kamala Harris administration is so pro-abortion. That is what the Democrat Party has done. They pushed out any area for pro-life people in the Democrat Party, and, and they're really way, way farther than the American people are. Majority of Americans are against late-term abortions, against abortions after 20 weeks, against taxpayer funding for abortions. But yet, that's what Biden, Kamala, and the administration is pushing forward right now. So I would say to Joe Biden, I'd say to Kamala, look, we at Live Action, we have seen people change their minds on abortion. We've seen people like Dr. Anthony Levitino, who committed over 1,200 abortions, himself say, I'll never do one again, I'm pro-life, I understand what's happening here. We've seen people uh, that have changed their minds that were also abortionists, they were uh, women who've had abortions, come out and speak about life. So that's what we're hoping. We gotta work and hope and pray that Biden, Harris, wake up to science, to medicine, to the reality of prenatal development and embryology. They claim to be compassionate. They claim to care about science, but yet they don't care for the most vulnerable among us. They don't acknowledge embryology and the fact that life is present at the moment of conception and life is worth protecting. That's what we at Live Action and the pro-life movement are fighting for. Life to be protected in society and in law, and we welcome them to join us in this and end the greatest human rights abuse of our time.